I bet Barry's looking forward to a line, and boy, does he deserve it. I think that's all he's doing it for. <laughs> Extra kit. Now, a dwindling congregation is not a problem affecting one church in Sussex. The pews are full of famous faces. Visitors to St Paul's Church in central Brighton can take a seat alongside the likes of Elvis and St Winston Churchill as part of an exhibition for the city's festival. Juliet Parkin is there live for us now. So, Juliet, who's been saying their prayers there this evening? Well, Bev, there's quite a gathering here at St Paul's this evening. There's 75 members of the congregation, among them great British icons, legends of the music industry and members of the public. It's all part of the festival's open houses and God's House, it seems, is proving a very popular stop on the tour. He's one of the most powerful men in the world, sharing a pew with a figure of tabloid love and hate. An unlikely congregation conjured up by over 30 local artists. This is really our response to the idea that a church is about the people who fill it, and about how they come to the church to be together and to be equal under the eyes of God, as it were. And it's a good way for artists to respond to that. Here, politicians mingle with members of the public, and in a space built on morality, both sin and virtue are explored in the portraits. I think in a search for truth, you've sometimes got to go a little bit near the edge. You've sometimes got involved in a little bit of controversy. Otherwise, you will never find the truth. And so we need to be challenged sometimes, and a bit of controversy um, gives a bit of spark. It seems to be very much a place that sort of welcomes people and you know this is a kind of representation of people and to me it, it just it makes a lot of sense and I'm really glad I came in. In the old days churches used to be used as marketplaces and Lord knows what and I think there's something to be said for that. Artists as young as 12 came forward with their offerings. The oldest, 89. I think there's such a variety here and the whole idea, you know, the open house, the house of God, you know, and the, and the vicar is, in, is all for it as well. I, I think it's, a, it's um, wonderful, yeah. With over 2,000 visitors, could this congregation spark an attendance revival? The sermon, though, it seems not to everyone's taste. Well, the exhibition here is on until Monday, so just a few more chances to come down and see some of the portraits. But beyond that, the hope is that some of these visitors will return here and get a sense of the bigger picture, that is, the church itself. Juliet, thanks very much for that. Full congregation, but not much on the collection plate, I should think. <laughs> I think you're probably right. <laughs> a little bit of uh, cricket news for you. Kent.